There's no love like Boston love. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. Happy National Boston Terrier Day today. Woohoo! Yes, there is such a thing. And yes, we are celebrating it. Although every day here at Wagmore Studios is Boston Terrier Day. Yes, indeed. I know not everybody's into Boston Terriers, so this is all about my collection, but I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about collecting something that just sparks joy, <laughs> that just makes you happy. And I wanted to share my collection with you. I, I know I've showed some of this before, but I want to talk about um, it's okay to not know what you're gonna do with something. It's enough that it makes you happy. It's enough that it makes you smile. It doesn't have to have a purpose. It doesn't have to be practical all the time. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. So again, today's Celebrating Boston Terrier Day, we'll talk more about how you can incorporate something like this in just a minute. But first, it's Boston Terrier Day. So I wanna introduce you, sadly, these two have passed. This is Riley and this is Ridley. I think this is before I got Bitsy and Buddy. And I love this picture because he looks so much like Ridley. And then there's little tiny Itsy Bitsy curled up in a blanket. And this is one of my favorite pictures of all. It's all four of them. Here's Riley. Here's Ridley. Here's Bitsy. And here's Buddy. Buddy's head, Bitsy's head, Ridley's little face, Riley's little face. Just sleeping in a pile of Bostons. How cool is that? I just love that picture. And I know I've shown this book several times and you see it just keeps getting fuller and fuller and fuller and I've not done anything with it yet and part of the reason is because I have this sitting on a on top of my little fireplace in the kitchen where I can see it all the time it's right near where my computer is where I work all the time and so I see this collection of fabulous stuff most of it's Boston I have one picture in here of Benji who's not a Boston but it's all about Boston's and it just sparks joy and it didn't start out like that I didn't think oh I, I, I'm just gonna start a pile of something that makes me happy it started with this book I got from Dollar Tree I was gonna gut it and make a journal and everything and I just I glued a book page on and oh, how I wish I had known where this was headed because if I had it to do over, I would glue something dog related, a dog related book page back here versus just some random book page. I don't even know what it's from. It may be from the, the book itself. I can't remember. This is just internet art that I found online. It just really reminded me of the expression Riley had. And it just, it matched this green so well. I, I just love how it turned out, not by plan. And I just kept adding things to it. I made a book spine called Heartbeats at Our Feet with some fake ribs, the art, beauty, and grace of dogs. And like I said, it's sitting out all the time. And so every time we get, mom bought us some washi tape that has Boston's on it. Uh, every time we get a new toy, I stick it in, I stick the packaging in here. This is the zine I made the other day on Canva. I stick that in here. Whenever I find a magazine picture with a Boston, I stick that in here. There's postcards from our veterinarian that have the Boston's names on the back. I find things in magazines all the time. Look at that vase! Riley's full name is Polka Dot Riley, so I had to put that in there, you know. I have a, a a punch, a paw print punch, and so I punched a lot of the pages. I have quite a few 
dog related stickers that I've put my favorites in here. This metallic looking 3D, it says love, grungy colors, that's from Dollar Tree. When COVID first came, this was my mask. This, I think, I think Amy sent me this from Doki Doki Forest. He's a little 3D, little, little Boston or Frenchie. I must say he's a Boston. That's why he's in this book. These I know are from Amy. These little um, vellum stickers. So cute. Sometimes our toys have Boston pictures on the cover. Love without limits. That is the very definition of dog. Dog love. Oh, what else? I also bought some digital kits before I learned how to make my own. I still buy digital kits even though I know how to make my own. There are some things I just don't do or can't do. So I still buy lots of digital kits. But I purchased all these to use as background pages to cover up the Gaslight Novel stuff that's in here. And I did start to glue a few things in. So it will look like this and then I'll put my Boston goodies in here on top of the uh, pretties. It is seriously windy out. Gale force winds. Feels like love. Yes it does. Paw prints. When I got my first and probably last Temu order, I got a few packages of paw print stamps and I just... Since three of them are already at the Rainbow Bridge, I picked out the rainbow ones for them. If you don't know what the Rainbow Bridge is, I'll put a link to the poem in the description below. Some jewelry. This is a love story. Mm-hmm. Not a Boston, but it doesn't matter still about dogs. Journal card I made. Aren't these the cutest little fun napkins that my mom got me for Christmas a couple years ago? Leanne got me some puppy love socks. With the Boston on the front. I love these socks. I wear them all the time. Our treats some of our treats. I think Amy sent me this with the it's a calendar with the uh, puppers. This was from the vet when she sent home some medicine. Amy drew this for Messy May. Mabes. Buddy's little girlfriend is a basset hound. Saying goodbye is hard. That's part of our Boston story. This is what I made after Buddy passed. My couch crafts. Boston love. There's that same picture of Bitsy. And Ridley. And Buddy soaking up the sunshine. Look how wonderful he is. There's the other one Amy drew for Messy May. Some things I printed out. There's a little baby Riley, baby Ridley and Riley, baby Bitsy and Buddy, Ridley, Butter, my little trouble, little Bitsy. She was a bad dog one year for Halloween. That was fun. I have some wonderful little notepads with Boston's on them. This is baby Bean with Samson. Look how tiny. That's Bean. What a cutie patootie. He's the one that started it all. Anytime there's ads with Boston's, I keep it. My mom got me this one year for Christmas or my birthday or something. It's a, a Boston Terrier singular little, um, my mom's so fun. She put it to mom from Ridley Riley, Bitsy and Buddy. <laughs> and it's just a little keepsake. How, how big were they and when were they born? All those things. Ridley, Ridley Pearson, the author. Anytime I see Ridley's name in writing, I, I take it. A little gussied up Boston. More digital images. Uh, steampunk. Cool Bostons. 
Steampunk Boston's. They're so fun. Aren't they funny? <laughs> Just internet art. I'm not selling this. This is for my personal use. Lots of pictures of my babies. Not happy about wearing the dress. The jacket. This jacket is red velvet lined with a red velvet bow. It's gorgeous. They used to sit like nesting dolls, always in the in the order of size. It's Riley, Buddy, and Bitsy when they were babies. Buddy got to be bigger than Riley. Ridley was off doing something that Ridley would do, but here again, in the order of size, there's Ridley and a baby Buddy and an itsy bitsy baby Bitsy. They would. I've never posed my dogs, not ever. I've never adjusted their toys. But they do the craziest, coolest things, like her. You know, she hoards all the toys. All the colorful ones. One one day it was just all one color. I can't remember what color it was. But I took a picture of that, too. I thought that was funny. This particular day, the boys laid in the same bed and the girls laid in the same bed. That was very unusual for them. Usually it was Ridley and Riley and Bitsy and Buddy. But for whatever reason, that day was different. My little buddy fell asleep in his dish oh he was a happy full boy they were such little he was such a pork chop when he was little they weighed one pound three ounces and one pound five ounces when i got them they were just teeny little boogers and buddy was such a pork chop and bitsy just was always tiny but he's very funny so how can you incorporate something like this Find something that you just love. If you have a dog, a, maybe he's a mutt, maybe he's a Westie or a Dalmatian or whatever kind of dog you have, build yourself one of these. Uh, it doesn't have to be dogs, so of course. It can be anything. It can be a certain kind of flower that you just, it just makes your day every time you see one. Or maybe you're into fashion and you want a, a book that's just all about fashion that lights you up. You know, and there's a calendar for anything. A lot of these are calendar pages. Get the calendars and just start collecting things that make you happy. Eventually, I'm going to work in this book. I'm going to cut these out and, and put all of these things in. There's my one non-Boston. That's Benji. He weighed all of maybe, maybe three pounds, four pounds. When he was full grown, he was the tiniest little booger. And he had the deepest deepest growl not growl he didn't growl bark sounded like a big lab whoa coming from this teeny tiny little dogger it can be anything <clears throat> and just start collecting things and even if you're not sure where it's going to lead you just having the collection can make you happy can make you perk you up on a on a day that's you know kind of crappy we all have those kind of days but there's something that can turn it around and it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. It can be looking at that little face. Cards. Cards. Lots of packaging. More postcards from the vet. I wanted to make sure I had one of each of their names on it. Have fun, be silly. Dance like no one's watching. Live as if there's no tomorrow. This is from a scrapbook kit, but I'm gonna cut out one of the many Boston pictures I have and cover up the kid that I don't know and put one put my Boston pictures in there. Time spent with dogs is never ever wasted. Time spent on your favorite thing. Maybe it's art. Maybe it's watercolor. Maybe it's a certain artist. Maybe it's a certain author. It'd be so fun to collect things. I'm a huge Stephen King fan and I have a lot of digital Stephen King stuff saved. Oh, but it would be fun to start a book like this. Look how pretty he is. So regal. It can be anything that lights you up. I have that necklace. And a similar one. I need to get one. One's for Ridley. One's for when Riley passed. I need to get one for when Buddy passed. My printer was running out of ink. I don't care. I can't throw it out. I love that purple little Ridley always kiss me goodnight even though it's about my dogs ask not for whom the bar dog barks it barks for thee 
beware dog can't hold its liquor there's another one somewhere in here it's a welcome mat that says text don't knock no reason to get the dogs involved very funny stuff perhaps they're not stars in the sky but rather openings where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy internet art birthday cards you know so i encourage you a few things start a collection of something that lights you up and just keep adding to it keep it out where you can see it maybe get a pretty basket you know you don't want it to be clutter you don't want it to be obnoxious and make you feel bad but every time you catch a glimpse of it it makes your heart skip a beat in a good way of course i encourage you even though it's boston terrier day to love up your beastlies your four pod family members make it special for them today give them extra treats take them for a walk take them for a ride take them to visit somebody or just spend some time with them because that's all they ask they just want to be with us to so spend some extra time with them happy national boston terrier day i'll take out the leak oh, mm -hmm. out for now